Well, hello. Welcome back to a new episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about children. You know, what does the Bible say about children? It's been a very interesting experience for me to have children, just to watch them grow. I remember this little tiny lump of a baby being put into my arms and watching this little guy turn, you know, and change and grow and develop his own personality. You know, I see how I was at my son's age. They're so similar in so many ways. I kind of want to call my parents and apologize. <laughs> Anybody else have the same reaction? They can become a heavy burden. You really care about their future. They can become good friends. They can become great companions just to hang out with. I love them as I would a part of myself, which they are. (laughs) So let's learn all about what the Bible says about children. (laughs) Let's learn together. So here we have scriptures about children. Acts 2.39. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are far off, even as many as the Lord our God will call to himself. Acts 16.31. They said, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You and your household. Isaiah 44, 3. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your offspring. Isaiah 54, 13. All your children will be taught by Yahweh and your children's peace will be great. Job 21, 11. They sent out their little ones like a flock. Their children dance. Mark 10, 14 to 16. But when Jesus saw it, he was moved with indignation and said to them, Allow the little children to come to me. Don't forbid them, for God's kingdom belongs to such as these. Most certainly, I tell you, whoever will not receive God's kingdom like a little child, he will in no way enter into it. He took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. Matthew 7, 11. If you then, being evil, Know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Matthew 18, 2-6 Jesus called a little child to himself and set him in the middle of them and said, Most certainly I tell you, unless you turn and become as little children, you will in no way enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whoever, therefore, humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such little child in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, It would be better for him if a huge millstone were hung around his neck and that he were sunk in the depths of the sea. Proverbs 17, 6 Children's children are the crown of old men. The glory of children are their parents. Psalm 107, 41 Yet he lifts the needy out of their affliction and increases their families like a flock. Psalm 127, 3 to 5. Behold, children are a heritage of Yahweh. The fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. 
they won't be disappointed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. Psalm 128.3 Your wife will be as a fruitful vine in the innermost part of your house. Your children like olive shoots around your table. May God add blessing on the reading of his word. And now we have our new modern expression. This is the idea of flesh and blood. And this means a reference to a relative or close family member. So we have this idea, don't treat him that way. He is your flesh and blood. But this can also mean a reference to our limitations as limited human beings. I can't do that. I'm only flesh and blood. And this comes from Matthew chapter 16, verse 17. Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So the idea of flesh and blood.